I was just recently emailed about the percentages on the Connect Checker. The Connect Checker, when it measures G2, G3 continuity, it measures in a range from 0 to 100%. That percentage is the, uh, think of it as a percentage to equal radius across the boundaries from this blend over into this surface. So I have a curvature of the surface at that boundary. I have a curvature of this surface at that boundary. And this percentage is telling me that this surface across this boundary is 93% of uh, curvature of that surface. So the closer to zero I get, the closer to G2 continuity I get. So this number, the lower, the better. Okay. So if I double click on my surface, you'll notice that I have it in there as a simple chordal fillet. I'm going to turn on conic parameter. And I'm going to leave it at 0.5. Now notice I'm at 93.4. Now that this is no longer a simple radius. This is going to be a conical shape. This is going to have a little acceleration going off into the adjoining surfaces. Now, I'm going to select OK, and you'll see this is at 92%. If I double click on this surface again, now this time what I really want you to pay attention to is what this porcupine is going to do when I increase my conic parameter. I'll go up to 0.7. You'll notice that this is going to take a dive down and you're going to see some acceleration form down into the next surface. It's still not going to be perfect, but it's closer. So as you can see, now I'm at just below 60% and I'm much closer to having a perfect G2 condition across this boundary. If I double click on this and I go up to 0.75, I've added much more acceleration. And as you can see, let me zoom up on it. I'm getting much closer to having the appropriate radius across that boundary. Now, this tool is only is limited to a certain extent as far as how far I can create um, curvature. It'll never be a perfect curvature continuous condition, uh, but as you can see here in cases of interior parts, things that may have a grain, uh, anything that needs to be uh, highly stylized but isn't a glossy sheet metal or glossy, glossy exterior body panel, something that may have a, some sort of a finish on it that's matte or or stipple or grain that, that can hide that subtle imperfection across that boundary. This would be typically acceptable for those things. Now, if I wanted perfection, I'd have to use a different tool. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to extract a couple of curves. Extract this curve. Extract this curve. I'm going to hide this fillet. I'm going to bring back the original surfaces, and I'm going to hide this connect checker. So now I'm going to go ahead and do a blend serve. With the blend serve, let me bring this into view, I have the ability to pick this, see, specify tangency or curvature. So I'm going to say curvature, curvature, leave everything at both extremities, select OK. Now, Excuse me, let me turn on trim support just so we can see a little better. Now when I go in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and modify the curve that's uh, creating this porcupine analysis. I'm going to change it from my fillet and I want to change it to this blend. So now what you can see is this is a curvature continuous blend going across that boundary. If I now measure, let me go ahead and hide these curves. If I now measure this with my connect checker, connect checker, like this, internal edges, you'll notice that I have 0.07%. So this is telling me this is basically perfect across those boundaries. If I lower this value to 0.05%, for instance, I'm going to get an error message, and you're going to say, it's going to say, well, wait a minute. 
I really can't go any lower than that. So for all intents and purposes, this is an imperceptible mistake or flaw on that surface. This is basically perfect. Now what you'll notice in this case, the G3 is getting closer as well. Now, if I double click on this surface and I go into my tension and I'm increasing the acceleration going into the adjoining surfaces, what you'll notice is the porcupines now have a bit more acceleration going in. They're not just perfectly continuous. They, they have a bit more acceleration. But also with my connect checker, my G3 is going to slightly sweeten up a bit. Now, it's not going to be perfect. Um, again, there's no tools native to GSD that allow G3, so the best you can do or hope to do is adjust what you're looking at with this blend to get it to flow a little bit nicer or a bit more acceleration into the adjacent surfaces. So you can see your head a little bit more. Okay, so I'm not really seeing any changes here, so all this point, all, all this is doing is just basically aesthetics at this point for these surfaces. So this percentage goes from 0 to 100 percent. The closer to 0, the better off we are. Now a lot of companies will say uh, 5 percent that I've seen. Anywhere from 5 to 10 percent and below is acceptable for um, being G2 uh, continuous across those boundaries. So in some cases, you may have a little bit of a tolerance that um, most places will accept. And depending on what you're doing, um, 10, 20, 30 percent may be perfectly acceptable. Again, interior parts don't have to be perfect. You may be, get away, be able to get away with 30, 40, 50 percent um, for your G2 continuity. I hope that solves the problem or answers your question. Thank you.